Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and in this video today uh, I want to cover some of the uh, builds that you can do for your uh, Orlando 7 star and uh, I might do other videos like that where we're gonna cover other units But for this one, let's see how we can maximize our Orlando 7 star and really dish out as much as damage possible first shout out to this uh, ffbequip.com that tool is amazing guys use this i use it a lot especially to make uh especially sorry to make the builds for some of the units and uh, especially if you want to test out some stuff instead of doing it in the game you can just do it out here on the site so without further ado let's go and see our boy orlando seven star right here so obviously you guys know you can equip a uh, great sword uh large swords uh swords and katana so that's going to be out of the equation right here uh, is max HP so when everything is spotted out when you max out his base stats it gets an extra 540 HP 65 on attack 40 on defense uh, 90 on MP 40 on magic and 40 on SPR so right here you guys can see his HP is looking really really good base stats when uh, fully maxed out 4689 the attack is 197 uh, defense 170 MP 184, Magic 161, and Spirit 157. So the really cool thing about this site, uh, you guys can force a dual wield build or we can do a double hand build and I'll show it to you right after. So here, we're going to go on the right. Uh, HP, when uh, all maxed out with all the equipment, you get 8,498 HP, which is really, really high because you get a 60% buff. The attack right here, 700, uh, 1,786. That thing is really, really high. Uh, especially when you start divine chaining this thing is crazy on the red right here you guys can see that we capped out at 300 percent uh we're basically getting 330 percent which is pretty crazy considering that eventually we'll get that 400 percent cap but right here this is the max damage you can get with orlando uh so we are actually 30 percent over the limit which is pretty crazy considering we're still missing one material down here uh, magic 244, MP 402, defense 377, spirit 320. For the physical effective hit point and magical effective hit point, I'm not going to cover this in this video, but these things are really, really high. Uh, and on uh, normal, is going to use roughly 20 MP per turn. So, uh, you guys want to build them to do a lot of damage, really easy. You are going to need is uh, Super TMR, which is Thunder God Sword, uh, attack 174 with light element on it. The Omega Weapon, if you have your uh, four lightnings and you got the Omega Weapon, you slap this on him and you're going to increase his damage. Precious Airprint, or if you have the uh, Genji Helm, which is a 45 on attack, which is really, really good. You want to build him as much as raw stats now. Uh, Lunet's Close, which is 45 attack on uh, a clothing piece. Dash's Earring, 45 attack. Obviously, you're going to need a TMR to boost his attack by 50%. If you don't have it, you can just give him Large Sword Mastery and probably give him something else. But I don't think it's going to work as well because this thing is really, really good. Then you're going to get Awesome Swordsman as the Materia, the sub uh, Subservient, and Eero's Vow. So you guys want to calculate how much we did this fast. Really easy. Uh, we're going to go right here. So Black Lion's Crest gives in 40% when equipped with a sword. Uh, Katana, which I have it right here. Uh, is it right here? Yeah, right here. So whenever you equip him with a large sword, you get 40%. So we got the uh, Super TMR right here. So 40%. We got the Omega Weapon. It's another 40%. We're at 80%. Then you get Thunder's uh, God Sid, another 50% in attack. So we're at, uh, what is it, uh, 130? Yeah, 130%. 130%. Then we get another 30% here, so that's 160. We're going to go back here, 160. Then we get uh, Awesome Swordsman, 190. Heroes Vow, 250. And uh, 80% right here. So we cracked it, guys. We cracked the 300%. So uh, this tool is really, really cool. I really, you guys should really use it. Uh, like I said, I like using this because it's really cool. Especially if you want to see some different builds on your character. So let's see, if you want to force build... A uh, double end World Orlando. Let's just force double end build and let's see what we can do. Right here. So if you guys wanted to max out, is uh, let's say make him true double end. So Lionheart, the um, the TMR from uh, Squall. 
Then you got the Genji Gelm, uh, Genji Genji Helm, or you you guys can put Precious Airpin that worked too. Uh, Lunet's Close, Martial Glove, Double Times, uh, the Subver Subservient, Swift Hunter, Buster Style, and Tomb Raider, and obviously back down here, uh, Titan, Titan. I don't know why I say Titan, Titan, and we're gonna go back to the dual will. Dual will. So if you guys wonder why Titan, really easy, because uh, if you put Titan. Uh, three star there's a way that you can max out his stats by 40% so uh, Titan base stats you're gonna increase his Esper stats by 40% so this is why it's giving a little bit more raw stats to Orlando which is gonna be able to maximize his damage guys hope you uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you are new to this channel leave a like down below if it was helpful for you let me know down in the comment section and if you are new to this channel also like I just said previously Please click that little, little red subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh my god, this is so hard to close.